Alright. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Wengar. And today, I am your host. I've taken the microphone as, unfortunately, your usual friend. I had to go on a brain examination thanks to the fact that he kept screaming at the top of his lungs at the ceiling for about seven hours now. This is due to the fact that he has cleared 90% of this place, the gutter, without recording any bit of it. Of course, this won't stop me from helping him out, for giving me some conversation earlier, and lead you through this place. Now, any of the torches you see, I have lit, and you should do so as well, as looking at this place and seeing it all on fire and such, is quite nice, especially the pentagram over there. Now, let us start. First of all, you will want to come this way and execute this man with impunity. I'm very sorry. Thank you for the knife. Now, you will mostly get backstabbed by people over there, but that is not the way we shall start. We shall start by jumping over here. Hello? This path usually is completely bathed in darkness, however, thanks to this torch lad, you usually have the ability to jump over there. If you don't think that you can, use the platform over there, it's much better. Now, up here there is a torch, and in that cave there is no loot, but a secret door that we cannot unlock yet. As such, light the torch and climb back down. Now that you're done with that, just run across here. Down here there are no torches, which is very sad. However, if you come this way, there is some loot in here. Very important bit of loot, do not forget that one. Now you can light this fire and fight that thing over there. I however won't, because I do not like fighting. Unless it is 100% necessary. Now, I would recommend killing these guys, despite what I just said, as they will no doubt get up to attack you, even if you don't want to fight them. Do not roll into these things, by the way. They are not very fun. They dur lower the durability of everything that is on you, including rings. And this way, rings can be broken. Which is not very good, uh, seeing as they are incredibly fragile and take a lot of money to redo. Now, there's a bit of loot over here, now it doesn't exist. And there's also... Please, my friend, come over here, I need to stab you. Thank you. Now, over here there's a huge pile of loot and the fragrant branch of yore and exactly this corpse. After grabbing that, you will want to jump down here and watch out because there are these statues which will fire poison at you and after hitting you twice, they will poison you completely. Behind you there, there can be a couple who jump down, which is not very nice. Watch out for this man as he has a knife and a knife of great proportion and endowment if it hits you once or twice, you're instantly vaporized. Now, up here, there's a chest for you, over here. It is not a mimic, do not worry. Now, I would recommend going this way, otherwise you will get poisoned by those two, unless you have good reflexes. And over here, light your torch so you can see better. Now that that is available, you can see that this is exactly where you should jump here and down here. There are a couple of people who will jump after you soon enough and they are not very friendly or nice. I however do not have to deal with them. There are these guys. Kill them, do not underestimate them. There's a bit of loot over here and roll down here. There's that statue over there and it will poison you if, you, if it hits you twice. These guys also have little knives, which are your death if they hit you, so do not let them. 
there's also a gigantic knight over here, directly over here. Uh, unfortunately, he has died. So we can't enrich our experience here. He does not respawn. The best way to kill him is by placing four lingering flames around here, like so, just four times. Or a little bit earlier than that, because that way you need to chase you around here. Also, this thing you can eliminate if you have a lip bit, or you can have eliminate it from up there. There's a chest up here, and grab that as well. Um, also, that knight drops some good loot, especially if you like lances. I also would recommend using all four of the lingering flames on them. They're not very friendly. And it will result in them instantly dying. Which is not great. Now, over here there is three people. None of them very nice. And if you leave them be for long enough, they will jump down over to there. Uh, I won't follow them. There's a bit of loot here, however, so do grab that. Thank you. There's also a bit of loot over here, if you want it. Now, up here, there is a zip line, which is very fun. Whee! Now you're back here. Uh, if you want, you can equip the cat ring at this point. I will not. And instead take the fall damage. There is a knife guy over there. And he will, just like any other knife guy, instantly vaporize you, lest you let him hit you. So, don't let him do that. We shall go back now, because I need to show you how to get up here if in another way. Uh, there is one big guy, like that different big creature, and if you run past them, and over there, if you manage to avoid all of those things, then you can get up here very simply. Now, after you're done with that, run across here. You should watch out because there's plenty of holes in the ground and there's a suicide bomber fella over there. He's not very nice. This patch of him. And there is a couple of bits of annoying stuff back down there, so I would not advise going down there. What I would advise is um, being silly, uh, running from here over to here, jump, and you might be poisoned, but if you manage to run over to here, then you can remove that toxin. And if you come over here, for this one, you can destroy a barrier here, you can see the scraps over there, and unlock that shortcut. Now that you have changed your loadout and have fireballs equipped, I would recommend coming this direction. Of course you'll need to light up the torches, if you haven't done that beforehand, and move this way. Also, if you're afraid for your torchlight, just farm these guys a couple bits, and it will be very simple. Just straight up, and move across here. That man has a knife. He is dead, destroyer of worlds. So please, get removed from his... Oh, he has a knife as well. Ooh, do not ever underestimate hollows with knives. They will literally end your existence, my friends, and I would not like that, as they are my friends indeed. Now, I would recommend jumping down over here and then turning around. There will be two hollows who want your butt. That is not very friendly, however, so let's dispatch of them, pick up the loot they might drop, destroy these two, kill the last guy, who I think has a knife. No, they actually only have hands, which is pretty nice. Now, I would recommend lighting your torch. Um, well, coming down here with a lit torch and then using it. And throw one over there. You can see the hand moving. Put a flame into that. And by the time they get 
out of it, they should be mostly dead. This is a tactic that you will be seeing later on as well, but you should learn it here. If I remember correctly, that is the only one that, that is actually that. You can also run in that direction and get some bits of... there's a torch. Ah, Oh, there's actually a chest. Well, no, there isn't a chest. Alright, this is just some pots I smashed earlier. It is sad that we cannot join. Now, I would recommend dispatching all of the things here because we shall come back here. And it won't be fun that time. Let me tell you that much. Um, there are plenty of enemies down here, and if you have a whip, you can generally kill a couple of them through the wall. And they do have a suicide bomber or two, so I would recommend killing at least some of them through the wall before they come after you. There is plenty of them. And it's always hot. Fortunately, we managed to survive. So isn't that just luck? Destroy that. Light this on fire. And then jump over to here. Now, at this point, you'll get invaded by someone who will spawn over there. Do not worry, they can't get to you as of now. Open this chest. Oh yeah, last time I fought for I fell off the edge, didn't I? Well, it's time for round two then, shall we? I mean, my friend fought her. She is generally not very good. She is basically the worst version of Maneater Mildred. She gets staggered very easily. As you can see, even my whip is making very short work of her. And she likes to keep her distance, aka the exact thing that will screw her over very quickly in a fight against me. She is not very difficult. Last time I only died because I fell off the edge. Good night. Thank you for the human attention. Now, if you want to get back to where we were, jumping across the pit, even though if you got the thing, then there is no point in that. You can use this as a shortcut very easily. And it is lovely like that, isn't it? Now... There are people who like to stab you in the butt with flamey things. They are not very nice. Dispatch them. And this is how you go about this maneuver. Perfect. Now, there will be three in total torch lads who will descend from there and try to attack you. They are not very nice people. So, if you want, then wait here for them. Or a little bit earlier. I, however, don't have the time to spare. As such, we shall continue onwards. Good night. Now, at this point, the first of them generally catch up with you, however, it seems I've been fast. Now, you do want to come in here, there is a bit of loot, but there's also little buggy boys, and they have pulps on them that is not very nice to look at. As such, we shall dispatch them. And there they go. Now, there's a bit of loot here, I actually, yeah, I think it's... A shield. I shall showcase the one if I remember correctly. But first, let's dispatch of the three people who are after us, shall we? Please, my lad, come at me. Thank you. There should be a third one if I do remember correctly. Or maybe that one decided that they like to live in. Dodge that. And. Wicked Eye Great Shield, this is the one that we got over there. It takes a lot of strength to wield. 
Now, you don't want to move a lot here, because there is death traps everywhere, who will poison you to death very fast. However, there is a suicide bomber over there. Dispatch of him, quickly. If you do get poisoned, I would recommend running here, running past here, and getting into that zone of very nice looking liquid. It is not very good for your health or armor, but it is very nice for removing poison. I would also not recommend hitting her, as nothing will happen, but you will be a very, really rude person for killing Queenie over here. She is very nice. As you can see, I placed her f my face thoroughly within the grasp of her mandibles, and she does not attack me. Isn't she just a lovely person? Don't be a dick and don't attack her. But if you do kill her, most will be your reward. I can... I think we can all agree that it's not worth being a dick for Moss. Now, if you didn't g get the bonfire that way, you can destroy this path over there and get it. Now, I would recommend equipping fireballs at this point. They are very nice and we shall be doing some ranged combat soon. After doing so, I would also recommend going down, if I do believe it's this one. Yes, I do believe it's this one. There is a lad over there. Do not be fooled. He will get up very quickly and try to murder you. That is not very good for your health. As such, do not let him. Yeah, yep, that's, that's their damage. It's incredibly high. If you have a weapon that swings faster, you are in luck here. I would recommend lighting a torch, because you can see stuff easier that way. And we shall jump over to here to get this bit of loot. That guy just decided that it was his time to go. That is very sad. Either way, there is a place to light, our to light up, and we shall jump there. There is also a place to light down there. For now we shall jump over to here. Generally, one of them will get angered. There is in total five people down there. And in this in this instance, more of them got angered. Which is lovely because more of them will come up and be easily vanquishable. That's four. Only one remains. For a second I thought that would be the ghost, but it wasn't. How lovely. Now, we shall use our one of our flame butterflies here. Because this way we can take a look down there. If I do remember correctly, there was only five. But that still leaves one of them. And that's not a how lovely. Now, we shall gather this 20 life gems, which is actually quite a boon, I have to say. And up here there was apparently where we were just were. I did not notice. But that is basically this area in a nutshell. Let's check if there is anything interesting up here. Ah yes, my, s my droppings. How lovely. There's torch on that side. No, all right. Oh, there's a torch over here, and as such, we shall get it. Now, let's descend. Have to do it over here. Dark fog and torch, and of course. The last torch. How lovely. No. Oh, well, I was not expecting you. This is unfortunate. This is very unfortunate. Ow.
Oh well, that's the only parts I needed my friend for. Now that it's complete, he can return. Thank you for watching Vanguard Plays. I'm not sure if I'll be ever returning, but it was a real pleasure. Thank you. back now. Nice gear. I guess Vanguard always had some good taste. Now let's get through this fast this time. And by faster I mean basically the exact same tempo. Oh, now I'm getting rated faster. How lovely. They should drop down over here, I do believe. This is incredibly annoying. You may not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. Mm, yes, yes, good for him. Ow, that hurt a lot. Now, where is the path forward? I think I went the wrong direction. Well, this is not great. <laughs> that is what we in the business call each shit. you will a hundred percent need in this exact area soon but for now we don't but we will soon enough now for this area i would recommend equipping the whip even if you can't use it because we are gonna need to take care of a lot of these and you won't want your actually yes it does do durability damage there are so many of these statues that you'll need to destroy in order to exist in this area that it's beyond belief so I would recommend equipping this whip so you can destroy them from a good distance and without any threat to the actual durability of any of your mostly used stuff now because I equip this it means that I have very very high stuff which is not very good right now make sure let me fix that now we are both medium rolling and can destroy these at the same time oh geez yeah I did not see you oh uh, well you'll be the least of my worries by the end of this they are not the hardest things to fight, however they can insta-kill you if you went too close to the thing, so don't do that. And that is wasn't the only one, if I do remember correctly. I don't think that one is it, but I think that one would be. Uh... No, it's this one. Hmm. It's hard to tell sometimes, and it doesn't help that my eyesight isn't the best right now. I'm incredibly- Ow, oh, yeah, that they can do that. It is not fun at all. Yikes. And the bleed was enough. Lovely. The reason you should be incredibly cautious in this area is that you're gonna get invaded. Because that was apparently 
everything else so far wasn't enough for this area to be an absolute nightmare which will be even worse for things that we will discuss later no they even have to fucking invade you this place is what we generally call cancer band it's the place in the gutter named black gulch which is not fun in the least because the rest of black gulch was actually pretty cool i actually enjoyed it this area can go fuck itself now it's not an if we are gonna get invaded it's a when and i'm not sure about that when now generally if you open this those two won't ang get angry with you it is fine grab the shotel and the great magic weapon and move on I actually thought that there was only two here, but the fire will convince you to stop existing. Thank you, my boy fire, that was very nice of you. Yeah, watch out, because there's plenty more of these fucking things. And there's this thing. This thing is incredibly weak, but it is placed here, so you can't just run past without another word. It has a couple of attacks, and I would recommend keeping your distance to some extent. But after he does his attacks, he's incredibly vulnerable. Hmm, I didn't know... Dead again. I don't think he has dropped that for me ever before. Yeah, there are two, by the way. Keep destroying these, just in case you, the guy will it, which he should eventually. Yes, I know, I will get to you, don't be such an impatient prick. There are enough pricks in this place, as we will fucking see later on. Thank you. Now, you will definitely get invaded by one person here, soon enough. I'm actually not sure. I think that one definitely has one of the low shits in there. A little bit back. This should be enough. No, alright. No, alright. Oh, there we go. That's what. Oh god, and this, the fucking closest one to us, also had. Yeah, Woodland Child. He is a complete dickhead. Like, like no other. He is dick. So, and he will come to you no matter what. I have killed this guy before and he came back. I'm not sure if you can actually permanently put him down. But we shall see now, shall we? Well, if I survive, I'm not actually sure. No, don't roll off the edge, thank you. Unfortunately, I don't think we can outrun him like the guy beforehand. Not sure how we managed to dodge there, but it was lovely. Radiant life gem. And bring him into an area where he... Also, he's immune to poison. Because, fuck you. I mean, it makes sense he lives here, but still, fuck him. And he will chase you all across this fucking place. And... Oh god! great shield he might not respawn if that if he just dropped something for me i'm not exactly sure now that that piece of shit is vanquished oh my god dear lord mother of moses titanite chunk that's incredibly good don't run into the fire please radiant live gem that was your biggest threat here by the way and of course getting nipped by these guys because they can instantly kill you if they nip you Oh great, use the fragrant branch of your over here, and then um, hopefully we can run past, oh thank god we can. 
Uh, don't run further inwards because you just trigger more of the fucking things. I run outwards. There is a hole over there. Did they just jump off the ledge? I think the other guy just jumped off the ledge. Which is very welcome. And I would support more behavior like that as far as my enemies are concerned. And the reason why you needed to save that is because this is a very important bonfire. Because there's a first lock stun here. And if you want to, you can just jump out of there and then run past and down to there. And that will immediately lead to the boss fight, which is pretty nice. Oof, I almost fall off that. There's also stuff down there, but for now we're not gonna go that way. Because we have different things to do. Mostly run around the wall. And we're not gonna be using these things in the boss fight, so let's just make sure that... That one doesn't have any. Good. I don't believe any of... Son of a bitch. There's plenty of them. There's one on the ground. God damn it, die! Ah! And there's two more in here. Now the problem here is that this is one of the places where we can we need to summon a boy. Uh, I think one. Let me check. There is no more threats that I know of. Uh, actually, uh, I think I missed somewhere that I needed to go. Mostly because I'm so used to just running past this area and not activating basically anything because I just want out of here, which I don't think I can be blamed for, because fuck this place, like seriously. Anyway, there's a hidden area. And it's probably, oh, ah, there it is. Yep, there we go. That's a boy. Burn. Sick burn, brother. Now let's destroy these two as well. There is a pathway up there. Doesn't look very welcoming to me. But we have a whip. And they can go fuck themselves. That is not a mimic. But it is in black tar. Yeah. And I do think there's a secret area behind here. Or not. Oops. Divine blessing. Um, one second. Uh, I'm kind of lost here, but let's hope that if I just use my humanity, he will be summoned. Well, his summoning sign will be sure. Her, sorry, her summoning sign will be somewhere here. Ah, lovely! One more of these fuckers, just just in case I didn't kill enough of you fucking things. God, could you just leave me alone? Thank you. Fuck. You. No, there is none in here. Ah, is that hers? No, that's Bashful Ray. Is this you, look at you? Lone Hunter Schmidt. No, I need look at you. Where is look at you, for fuck's sake? God damn it all. I don't want to summon them yet. I am going to summon all of them because fuck this area. This is my way of excusing myself from summoning everyone in the universe. Ah! Not sure if there's anything actually up there. The problem is this is one of the places where she can be summoned, so I need to do it. At least her, you know. Mm. Well, excuse me. There's some. Ah, that's the spot. I'm going to use a torch. This might be the reason why she didn't give me the achievement earlier. This 
place down here. Are you kidding me? Well. Isn't this where the this is where they are, aren't, isn't it? Yep, this is where they are. Well, the uh, hello, how are you doing? I see you're doing absolutely dashing. Unfortunately, uh, you can't come in here because I said so. Giant dragon bone. I'm not sure how this is not hitting you, but that's fine. Oh wow, that's a lot of damage! <laughs> okay then. That's not good. Okay, that's a little bit more. Um. Uh, how much is this? That's a bit more. God damn it. Firebombs, bitches. Anyway. Well, um... Can you get poisoned? Let's hope. Yes, you can. And that's gonna be very good for me. Because that will remove most of your health. How lovely. Thank God to all the fuckers who sacrificed their lives so I could fucking poison this guy. Oh my god, look at that damage. And you're dead. Alright, well that's very lucky. Because that will mean that one of them is going to die, at least. <sighs> this is not where I wanted to go right now. I was just searching for Lucatiel. But hey, I guess we're killing these guys now. <laughs> Good lord. And that's all of them. No, I should have dealt a little bit more damage. Well, we I have had some other tricks up my sleeve, mostly this. Mmm, delicious. Now, if you would be so kind as to light on fire. Twice. Rotten key and soul of a giant. Wasn't that just fucking roughly and not giving me a heart attack completely? Ah, <laughs> I didn't want to come here yet. I did not want to come here yet. But alas, I did. And I almost fucking got killed. But that's, that's okay. That's fine. Good fucking lord. Up here we go. Yes, indeed. Oh, fuck you. Fuck whoever put this here. Like, seriously, go fuck yourself. Jesus Christ, that's just dick. Holy shit. Sadness ahead. Fucking... No wonder. Good lord. Still on the road, are you? Indeed. Sorry to have burdened you so. Uh -huh. This is for you. By way of an apology. Oh, thank you. That's very nice of you. 
But I did not burn them. I found my thoughts growing hazy. Mm -hmm. My memories are fading, oldest first. Oh. The curse is doing its work upon me. I am frightened. Terribly so. But you haven't even died once. If everything should fade, what will be left of me? A corpse? I had an older brother. We learned to fence together. He became the most decorated swordsman in all of Mira. Mm -hmm. I never even compared to him. No, don't be like that. In fact, I never beat him. Not once. Mm -hmm. But then, one day, he was gone. Lost without a trace. Now I'm certain that he was taken by the curse. Mm. If only someone would hear my tale. Literally in front of you. My brother must have come here, too. Soon I may forget even about him. Mm. If only someone would hear my tale. My brother must have... Soon I... Well, that took like seven years to find you, but it's done. And apparently if you come here earlier you can ease yourself by killing these things. I'm not getting poisoned when I'm done with this. Oh, and though I could heal up, I don't want to be poisoned. Now... Now her summon shine sign... Well, let's start with her summon sh sign. Just to make sure that we have it. You know? There it is. Look at Teal of Mira. Alright, let's get everyone. Let's get the whole fucking posse. The crazed clown posse. Thank you, Mira. Come on. Bashful Ray. Avengers Assemble. I don't know half of you, but that's fine. Come on, look at Teal. You're probably one of my favorite characters. I mean, after Vanguard. Vanguard is definitely... Ow! No, 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 don't fucking poison me. Good lord. Come on. Over here. Thank you. I have called upon you because we have a bitch to slap. And then we should go. I'm still recording, right? Yes, thank good lord. Oh, those guys just look like they're having a fun all time. You suck at art. The statue is not a creative product. How was this even fucking created? <laughs> what do you see with your elven eyes, a dick? Alright, so, uh, what we are going to do is run. Ow! Run away. None of the statues are actually damaging here. And there we go. First off, we shall start with fire. Because it clearly likes it, so let's give it some of its own toys, shall we? I don't think this is very fair, by the way. <laughs> I mean, we're fucking four of us, all on this one guy, but at this point I just want to get out of this place, and to get do that, I need to kill this guy once and for all. So, sadly enough, we're gonna have to murder his arse, very, very, very destructively. I'm not even sure if I'm actually hitting him, I should be. Yes, I am, I just don't, I, my damage is just very much nurture, oh shit, get back, oh fuck. Uh, thankfully I healed up. Glug. Are you having a fun time, lad? I hope not, because... Fuck you! Okay, he's not focused on me. It's completely fine. Oh, he's vomiting. Don't get hit by that. I don't think it does a lot of damage, but don't get hit by that. Up, 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 up. Oh, thank god, I was just out of range for that. Wait, look at the election needs to survive and he's focusing him, so now we need to fucking end this. Oh, no, he's focusing Lone Hunter Schmidt, the poor guy. 
for Schmidt. Thank you all for coming here. You just killed yourself, Schmidt. Well done to you. At least Mira is alive. Test completed. Look at your Mira has returned to their world. Yay! Who doesn't love look at your Mira? Idiots. That's who. <laughs> now, what you don't want to do is go all the way back. Yes, I know. Thank you. What you do want to do is get over here. Get this bit of loot. Beautiful. And awoken the primal bonfire. Lit. Now, you might be tempted to investigate that. However, don't do it because it's literally pointless. Instead, we shall head out. You're having a fun time, aren't you?